Hi, my loves. Um, being single during the holidays is <laughs> triggering. Okay. Um, it's like, um, it's a minefield of emotions. And I um, just, I'm sitting in my car. Oh, and I've been feeling all my big ass feelings because um, I went to this holiday market thing and my girls weren't able to come. So I was like, I'm just, I'm going to go solo. It was in downtown Charlotte. I camped North End and I'm walking around and you know, it's, it's cold and everybody who's here is like here with someone else's girlfriends or, you know, or, or couples or, you know, families and things like that. It's, it's honestly, it's really beautiful. The vibes are immaculate. It was great. Right. And I go and I get my hot cocoa and I'm like, Okay, Courtney girl, like we're walking around. I have historically hated the holidays because they're always just like lackluster, um, you know, from an emotional perspective. And I was like, okay, like we're going to like, we're going to push through the things. But you know what did me in? You know what did me in? And why I'm sitting here trying to make sure that like I don't lose a lash was this beautiful, like maybe early 30s black couple with a baby in a teddy bear outfit. It was the it was the teddy bear outfit that really just like I was just looking at them and smiling and then I realized that I was like crying. I hope they didn't see me. That'd be so oh my god, that'd be awful. That's so embarrassing. Um I just like couldn't hold it anymore. Um and you know, it's like you is that was you, huh? <laughs> you know, that's really it's making me sad. I have to laugh through the shit because like I really just I don't I don't think that I was um, prepared to deal with this just yet. This is where I'm at right now. And um, these are not like fun feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been single for two years now. This was like the first year where I was like, okay, like I'm not going to like dodge the feelings. Bro, this shit is tough. <sighs> and I don't know why, but I just felt like I should share that. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Yo, too. What is going on? I am back with another video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Do you know what's funny about this whole situation? It's crazy because in 2022, we had Kevin Samuels, right? And he was going mainstream. He was going viral every time telling modern women that there's going to be an age that they going to want a man. So I don't want you to go ahead and say men and shit, but then you have to pick the right man instead. Because a lot of y'all just be choosing the you know the wrong man, right? We all know we got, you know, Ray Rays and Pokies and we got good guys. That's true. And that is facts. But most women are attracted to Pokies, right? So all 2022. Are we seeing on on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, men and shit, men and shit, men and shit. Men and shit, men and shit. Right? Fast forward the end of 2022. And it's about to be 2023. We got women crying, talking about, ah, I wish I had a man during the holidays. Ah! But y'all didn't know that? I thought you got options. And that's how I know that your options isn't really good options. Because... I really don't understand how a lot of women think. You think because you got a lot of dudes in your DM, you think those are good options. You got options. Of course we know that. But them options, oh, all they just want is this. But giving you a committed relationship where there's communication, um, there's love language, there's, you know, laughter, there is traveling, enjoy each other's company, and so much more. You think you're going to just find this like that? 
You think you're just going to find a man that's going to bring all that to your life like that. Y'all must be delusional then. And that's what's going to happen to a lot of y'all because a lot of y'all say men and So then why are you asking for a man to come to, to be with you during the holidays? Why do y'all want that? But men and though. You said, you know, and I'm not talking to her, but I'm talking in general. You said, you know, there was a guy and a woman and a little baby and a little kid. But how do you, how do you think the woman got pregnant though? By the guy. Who do you think helped with the little boy or girl or the little kid that you're talking about? A guy. Whose seed is that? The guy's seed. But yeah, y'all don't want no man. Oh, y'all think y'all got it all though. See what I'm saying? Y'all think yeah, y'all think y'all got it all. See, and it's crazy because women will do all that. Women will do all that big to end up crying on TikTok. Y'all don't want no man. You wanna just all your you know all your twins. And then when you're 30 years old, you expect some dude to come and give you a lifestyle. And it's crazy to me because a lot of y'all do not understand, but us men, we don't have a, a, a biological clock. We don't have that. We can have kids at any age. Baby, I could bust at any age. But understand, ladies, you... You got some time. Between 30 years old and 45, 50, whatever that is, and up, you might not even be able to have kids. And I'm not saying to rush. I want you to find a good guy instead. How about you go after good guys? But you want to go after pookies and rare rays because they are fun. And I'm, 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 I ain't gonna lie to you. I want the pookies and the rare rays, man. I am like this because when I was a good guy, when I was a nice guy, women didn't take me serious. Women literally did not take me serious. Oh no, you're too good though. <laughs> I mean, you're too good. For, you, you're too good of a good guy. You're too good of a good guy. But as soon as I became a pokey, <laughs> I don't spend money on this anymore. I don't stress over women anymore. I don't just go on dates and get ghosted anymore. And breakups that don't really happen often anymore. Why? Because I have a guard up. And it's really hard to get to me. And when I say to get to me, and I'm talking about to like me to invest in you, you know, mentally. And why do you think I am like that now? Because I've been through circumstances where women continuously showing me who they are. And I'm not saying all women are like this, but most women are. So when y'all created demons like that, and you expect a man to come and just give you the whole world, and I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to keep crying for a long time because dating is not getting easier. Dating is not getting easier. And for the things that I've seen, and for the women that I've dealt with, and I know what they had going on, and they still deals with me, that totally shows me, that totally shows me a lot. And that tells me a lot. So I'm going to tell you right now, ladies, be strong and independent how you want, how you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not saying that, you know, I don't like strong, independent women. But y'all use that strong, independent women sh as a way to show that you better than a man. We don't give a damn about none of that. Y'all want to around all your 20s. As soon as you turn 30 years old, 35 years old, now you want a good man. You want a husband. Y'all going to be crying for a long time. Men and shit. Guess what? Guess what? Be a lesbian then. How about y'all start being lesbian? 
It's either you start being a lesbian, get you a cat and some wine, or give the good guy that's in your DM a chance. Give the good guy that actually cares about you a chance. But are they going to do that? Mm mm. So guess what? We 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 we're going to keep we going to keep getting the same result, and I'm going to keep making videos. Please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm out of here, dog.